Lumber River State Park was established in 1989 as a North Carolina State Park. Uh, facilities here at Princess Ann were uh, built in 1998 and then our chalk banks facilities were completed in uh, 2005. Uh, Lumber River State Park, we're probably close to uh, 13,000 acres now, all stretched all up and down the 100 10 or 15 miles of Lumber River in North Carolina. I'd say three quarters of it or more is wetlands. Um, you're just seeing forest and, and mainly swamplands. A lot of reasons they're important. First for um, humans, bottom land hardwood forest, but we call it a swamp. Cleans the water when the water flows through it. It's just flowing real slow and it settles down and a lot of the pollutants come out of the, the water. Lumber River is a very, very clean river. A lot of people don't think so because it's so dark, but that dark is from the tannic acid in the water that actually makes helps keep the water very clean with the slightly acidic environment that the tannic acid provides another thing that it does is acts as a, a buffer um, between the river and human activity and that helps keep the river clean for the animals it provides a, a safe place for them I mean, it provides everything of swamp will have a total habitat for the animal food water shelter a place for animals to go in the summertime and get nice and cool when it's hot out there in the winter, you know, it provides shelter real all year round for them to raise their little ones and to, to hide from predators or humans. It's just a beautiful place to get out in and walk and you'll see all kinds of animals out there. Where the most animals are is where there's a lot of different habitats and right here at Princess Ann there's probably about seven habitats with this wetland seep that we have here from the springs coming out of the hill to the river, the edge of the river, the, the edge of the hill, up on the top of the hill, the open fields is the Lumber River is like a green highway. If you look at an aerial map, an animal could go along the edge of the Great PD down at Georgetown all the way up through South Carolina up here to North Carolina and vice versa. And as long as there wasn't any, um, you know, big timber and wouldn't even have to stick its head out of the woods. Plenty of bears in here all up and down the Lum River. Plenty of deer, foxes, raccoons, um, all different kinds of turtles are attracted to it. Uh, um, Carolina annals, different kinds of lizards, toads, frogs unusual birds in in our part of the state and a lot of them use the Lumber River. We got wood storks that are nesting real nearby and we see them flying over the Lumber River all the time and then uh, Mississippi kites. This time of year there's a couple of places on the Lumber River Basin that we're seeing uh, swallowtail kites and um, the Lumber River is the only blackwater river between a uh, river up in New Jersey and one down in Florida in the whole U.S. This uh, a blackwater river that's in the National Wild and Scenic River System where there's a lot of folks that love canoe in the eastern North Carolina um, rivers and a lot of them say the lumber is, is the most beautiful of all of them not just for paddling with canoes or kayaks but uh, motorboats fishing it's just a beautiful river to be out on and one of the things I love about the lumber river is it stays cool all year round I've never swam in it when it wasn't nice and cool and refreshing as far as people enjoying the park uh, just come out and enjoy it and enjoy the wetlands um you know come out and see them and, and look at all the different habitats attend one of our programs here at the park. Let the ranger help educate you so you can learn about it. I can't remember the, the person that said it. You don't really know to protect something until you understand it. And so the folks come out here and they don't really, they just hear, you know, it's a swamp and think of it as kind of a dark, mysterious place. And then they um, come out here and see what a wetland is, see how beautiful it is, see the animals that are in it. Then it'll probably give them a more, you know, they'll be more interested in protecting it. Please don't litter in it, you know, it can be bad and it looks ugly you know and and parents teach your kids not to litter and kids educate your parents on not littering there's a few parents out there that need to be educated about not littering